performance level. Renault's new Clio, Fiskier's current car of the year, the VW Golf GTI, and the latest Subaru Impreza. And we've got three fuels. Ordinary unleaded from the local supermarket, some Shell Optimax, and some BP Ultimate. To find out which does what, we're at tuning specialists for racing. They're the kind of people who make your Toyota Supra produce 800 brake horsepower. And to measure all that power, they've got a machine called a chassis dynamometer. We're going to use it to measure the power produced by each car running on each fuel. First on is the new Clio, running on ordinary unleaded. The driven axle is attached to special power absorption units inside a hydraulic pump which continually try and resist the turning wheels. You program in a driving cycle that tests the full range of the engine, something like accelerating from 2,000 RPM to near maximum in around 16 seconds. The computer then works out the power and plots it on a graph. After six runs on supermarket unleaded, we drained the tank. And because modern cars adjust their timing according to the fuel they're using, we reset the ECU to make sure the next fuel would start from a level playing field. We then refilled with Optimax and did a series of runs on that. And finally emptied, refilled, reset and repeated the exercise with Ultimate. These are the results. On ordinary unleaded, the Clio produced 81 brake horsepower. On BP Ultimate, it produced 81 brake horsepower. And on Shell Optimax, you guessed it, 81 brake horsepower. So it seems an engine geared towards economy simply can't take advantage of the extra performance fancy fuel can offer. Now all new petrol cars sold in the UK must be capable of running on ordinary unleaded, which has an octane rating of 95. However, the Golf Handbook says it will go better on higher octane petrol. So, what is octane? Well, the higher the octane number, the more resistant a fuel is to uncontrolled combustion. And the more resistant it is, the more the engine can compress it without it exploding willy-nilly. So that means the engine management system can choose when to ignite the fuel and you get maximum bang. Ultimate is 97, but Optimax is the recommended 98, so we're expecting some differences. With ordinary unleaded, the Golf produced 172 bhp. On Ultimate, it produced just a little more, 174. But on Optimax, the Golf GTI put out 177 horsepower. Certainly an improvement, although whether you'd be able to feel an extra 5 horsepower around town is a different matter. Now the Impreza, a highly tuned performance car, should relish the stability of higher octane fuel. Here are the results. On ordinary unleaded, the Impreza put out 235 brake horsepower. But on BP Ultimate, it was 248. And on Shell Optimax, it was 249. So clearly, the fancy fuels here are well worth the extra money. But how to choose between Optimax and Ultimate? Well, we examine the torque figures to see if they produced a clear winner. Supermarket fuel gave the lowest torque with 232 foot-pounds. Ultimate produced a much healthier 248. But Optimax was even better, producing 258. That would result in a more winning engine, happier to accelerate hard from low down in the rev range. So, premium fuels can make your car go faster. And on the basis of our tests, Shell's Optimax is a more performance oriented fuel than BP's Ultimate. But only if your car can appreciate the difference.